Hello, Geminis. My name is Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal, here to do your love reading for the month of April. This is from mid-April to mid, uh, I almost said March, May. Okay, so what we are going to do is pull some angel cards, and then we're going to go to the tarot portion of it, or oracle portion today. I decided to go for oracle cards today. And one side is going to be the feminine side, one side is going to be the masculine side. And we're going to find out lots of things like what's at the heart of the matter, what's getting in the way, how you guys feel about each other, what actions are going to be taken, and of course the final outcome. So friendly reminder that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only, therefore not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I am here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, check out crystalthingsheal.com where you can book directly on the site for your appointment for a private sesh, right? Also, you can check out all the other fun stuff that are going on. We have group Reiki sessions that are going on on crystalthingsheal.com. So Zoom is available so you can kind of tune in from anywhere. And I made it super affordable. So um, I wanted to give everyone a chance to do this. We'll be doing that once a month. Let me get one more card. Thank you. Oh, I guess two more. One is right. Alrighty. So we have a few things going on here. All right. First, there's going to be someone where it's going to make you nice and flirtatious and want to do the thing, right? Um, very soon, actually, a new person coming in that makes you feel this way. Probably someone that you're not really used to. Okay, or maybe it's not your usual type, so you got to keep an open mind here. But it definitely is worth giving a chance, okay? Um, for others of you, this is two different stories here. We have someone who deceived you in the past a little bit, okay? You know, they were wearing a mask, maybe weren't showing their true feelings, or maybe they just straight up lied, okay? Have no fear, reconciliations here, <laughs> So you guys will work through that. Some of you, I don't know if you guys were together, you were married or anything like that. Or maybe you're just healing through family issues separately. But somebody's healing through family issues, specifically with parents. I don't know if you're a parent or you're trying to heal something with a parent. But as you heal from that, it would help you with your relationship. Okay, so we are going to go into the tarot portion. I keep saying tarot out of habit, but it's actually an oracle. We are using a new oracle deck this month. I've been buying from like smaller, supporting small businesses. So this is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. I got it on eBay. I actually really like them. They're simple, and but I really like them. They're really good. You guys are going to see me using a lot of different decks and introducing them pretty soon. All right, let's get grounded. Alrighty, what's at the heart of the matter for my lovely Gemini, please? Wow, everything. Hold on. Oh, way too much. We're not doing that. We are not starting that way. What's at the heart of the matter for my Gemini, please? Thank you. All right, so for someone's frustrated in a relationship, okay? There's lack of confidence happening. There's self-sabotage. Um, there's fear. There's ego. There's jealousy. All of above. Someone feels like they're not enough, but they're doing it in a way where it's kind of like they're taking it out on the other person. There's some sabotage going on here, okay? Um, there's rebuilding needs to happen as well. Um, it's almost like sometimes you're interrogating your significant other, but it's really because you're not trusting yourself. So this is a problem. Okay. Um, this is just something that needs to be worked on. Let's just start with that. So how does the feminine see the masculine? Thank you. Cupid's arrow. Ooh. And twin flames. All right. This is the second sign that right away twin flames have come out for. So I don't know if you're dating a, um, what sign did I just do with that last? Taurus. But if you are, you can watch a Taurus video. Um, anyways, Cupid's arrow. Having faith in love. 
but there's also hesitation. All right. Twin flames, they're the yin to your yang. You guys are Gemini, so maybe they're your twin, right? Or you feel like they are. Okay. Um, the thing about twin flames is, I just said this in the Taurus video, is that you guys bring out the best in each other, but you guys also have the ability to bring out the worst in each other. And that's when things can get a little sticky. My cards are all over the place. I don't know at what point that I mess up. I guess we'll do this. All right, how does the masculine see the feminine? Don't do it. Not today. Whoa. <laughs> Not dealing with it. They're hurt. They're avoiding a conversation, the person in general. They were putting up boundaries. They're still angry about whatever this feminine did or feminine energy did. They, I am not dealing with this today. No, not today, Satan. I should call it that. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess that's that. <laughs> um, that's how they see each other, how they feel. How does the feminine feel about the masculine? Separation. Another couple that's in separation currently. How does the masculine see the feminine, please? Cards are everywhere. Heartbroken. Oy. Deeply hurt, sad because of the separation. Breakup. Oh no, Gemini's no. No, not today. Grieving, mourning, yeah, you know, like. All right, so what's getting in the way of this relationship? Nope. Thank you. The sword and the rose. Truth is getting in the way. I kind of feel like it's lack of truth, though. So there's some lying going on. And someone is wants clarity and they're not getting it. And you, oh, you guys are being a little petty, <laughs> to be honest with you. So instead of like talking it out and working it out, it's like tick for tat, right? It's like you guys are mirroring each other's behaviors, but at the same time, it's like you really need to talk or do whatever you got to do. That's, you know. All right, so what actions is the feminine going to take? They're going to try to heal from the situation. Period. They almost feel like the relationship could be an addiction as well. So they're trying to heal from that. They're trying to heal from that toxic energy that we're picking up on, right? Um, so how does the, um, what actions is the mask going to take? Ooh. The golden mirror. What's this one? Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship. Whoa. Huh. Love bombing. Wow. By the way, I've never seen that card before. They're moving on. The boat. They're moving on because they don't care enough. They're too self-absorbed with themselves. So they're out. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I was going to ask what the outcome is, but I guess that kind of tells us. I don't know. Do they repair or do they come back from this? What is the final outcome? The final outcome is... Pete, you guys are reminiscing. You're trying to learn from the past. Stop falling. Welcoming new loves. Opening your heart again. So it's kind of like one door is closing for another to open. It's like you're leaving a toxic relationship and being oh, oh, karmic. 
Oh, we love karmic relationships, don't we? Right? So this is fleeting. It literally says fleeting. There's triggers, there's turmoil, there's resentment, there's lessons because it's karmic, right? Letting go and loving yourself. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise. You know, sometimes it really does take that in order for us to actually begin to love ourselves. So congratulations on becoming the best version of you pretty soon. Alrighty. So I will see you mid. Actually, no, I'm going to see you guys in May for your monthlies. Until next time. Bye.